So I um, would just like to open the floor as anybody has any suggestions or ideas. Just to, I think this decision only can come from you. There's, there's nobody else can this, make that decision. But I think if um, if things don't go further today, and obviously people can withdraw if they want to, but if things don't go further, then to some extent we're stepping back from the issue ourselves. So there's a lot of material here. Um, I think there's a there's the makings of a, of a of a TV documentary here because if you want to get the biggest audience, that's one way to go. Now obviously it would have to be planned and, and if people don't want to participate, fair enough. So I think my feeling would be this has to progress in some manner, uh, but it needs, you know, the media is a powerful um, force both on television and on the web and so on, so I'd certainly be in favour of it progressing in some manner. Um, to publicise more for the for the help out there, for for to be more help for people that are depressed. Yeah. When my son was thrown away from two hospitals, and he was dead in a couple of days, looking for help. And um, he sadly went and just took his own life. Then, when there was help there, but was refused, and I think publicising the whole thing might save someone else's life. Let the, um, the authorities and the government open up and really look at it. So I would personally agree for it to go forward. I'm a grandmother, I'm a grandmother and I lost my son. And I think we, we, all, we all knew there was something wrong, but none of us could put our finger on it really. And when we did try and get help, like we we need to um, we need to motivate politicians and government to help us. And if we go forward and the project goes forward, like it's not an instant. If one family is is saved, what everyone here has been through. Even though it's hard work for everyone involved and painful, it would have been worthwhile. I was just going to say, it is that thing that you think that it will never ever happen to your family, and we definitely never ever thought it should happen to us. And I think that's the problem. Everybody else that's out there thinks this will never happen in our family, you know, and it's not until it hits your door. And I think the only way to make people realise this can hit your door is what you've done upstairs. Because it's actually, it, this, these are all I was reading it and it says young, ordinary young people. He was an ordinary young, he was a, do you know? And I think even if people have had trouble, you don't expect them to do this. I agree with everything everyone said pretty much. But I just want to say about the age issue as well. Um, I, I certainly don't think kids need to see this. Um, but I think... I think I, I, I wouldn't go with the over 16s necessarily. I mean, there was a girl as young as 14 here today. And, you know, I just think the, I, I would vote for that age limit, but have it be younger, maybe at 13 or something like that. I mean, so far you've been really responsible with um, how you introduce people to this and, and bring people to this, but I'd be really keen on there being like it's not just a walk off the street exhibition that there's there's an explanation that this is actually profoundly sad and you know profoundly moving for people as well and um you know i think i think people need to be warned you know it's not just walk in off the street you know it's it's really big stuff so kevin was saying is official ireland ready for this exhibition you know, this, this process. And I think there's also a question, is the art world ready for this process? Because like, if you put an exhibition like this into the Irish Museum of Modern Art, it is exactly as you say, people walk off the street. Then on another hand, you're saying, be very careful about who you're letting in. Surely you want everybody to know mm -hmm. the effects of suicide on families. Mm -hmm. So why would you want to? you know, say, have it. Why not go out and put it in the museum of 
anywhere where crowds of people would come in. Good point. Yeah. And let them see the effects of suicide on people. How, how shocking is being told by your daughter that your son, or who everyone here has been told, yeah. were seeing an exhibition, like, no matter how, you know what I mean, like... Yeah. It's real, it's, it's here. It's real. I mean, no protection for anybody here, you know, or anything like that. And part of me feels that exposes to everybody because everybody needs to know about it. It's, I think it's keeping in some ways a stigma alive, unfortunately, that goes with suicide. Let everybody know and understand and not be afraid to use the word and talk about it openly. If you want to take it on the national level, it's, it's not too late to try and influence you know, um, the powers that be, whether um, <coughs> health or politicians or so on, to, to make changes. You know. There's an ad for a horrific road crash, some of them really dreadful. And, uh, you know, this is on your television most nights of the week. And we have far more people die by suicide than by road crashes, yet we are worried about offending people by, you know, putting on a public exhibition. So um, I think we shouldn't be... Uh, reticent about that at all.